Tonight, new details on a deadly wrong way crash on Route 95. A 40-year-old man from Providence was killed early Sunday morning after his car was struck by a vehicle that police say was going south in the northbound lanes. And today, the 24-year-old driver of that wrong way car faced the judge to answer the charges that he was drunk behind the wheel. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scherer joins us live from South District, from the District Court, I should say, in Providence with tonight's top local story. The suspect appeared dazed in court today. Now his parents were in the courtroom while the victim's family was coping with their sudden loss. 24-year-old Corey Johnston of Providence appeared in district court Monday to face charges that while under the influence of alcohol, he drove his car the wrong way on I-95 Sunday morning and killed a man. Sir, you're charged with driving under the influence that resulting. Killed in the accident was 40-year-old Dominic Izzy of Providence, who a family member describes as a musician and videographer with his own business. She says he was driving home after performing with his band. I was in shock. I was at a loss for words. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe this had happened to him. State police say they received a call about a wrong way driver around 2 a.m. Sunday. Police say Johnston got on the interstate at Lonsdale Avenue in Pawtucket and headed south in the northbound lanes. He reportedly sideswiped a car moments before hitting Izzy's car head on near exit 23. The operator of the vehicle that was struck head on in the high speed lane <clears throat> excuse me, was pronounced at the scene. The suspect is a student in Boston. He was treated at the hospital, underwent chemical tests, and released. Izzy's cousin is devastated. So many people that actually loved him. Talented. Great person who took photos, videos. Accomplished so much. Now, while in court, Johnston had to surrender his passport. He is being held on $25,000 as surety. He's due back in court May 21st. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll hear from one of the victim's former employers. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.